Hi there Taurus, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm going to be doing your July 2017 uh, 1st through the 15th love reading. July 1st through the 15th love reading for Taurus. Thank you to all the subscribers, watchers, commenters, and bookings. You guys have kept me very busy. Thank you so very much. If this doesn't resonate with you, check your rising sign or your moon sign. Best way to book a, a private reading is to send me an email, and you can find that information below. I want to thank you to the people that have given me donations as well. Thank you so much. I really, really, really appreciate that. This is for Taurus. July 1st through the 15th, love. What do you have for a love reading for Taurus? Can you give us some love for them? Ooh, somebody from the past. After a time of hurt or painful separation or um, a near-death situation, you know. There you are, Taurus. And now there's a powerful time of manifestation these next two weeks. July 1st through the 15th, you have a, you've been handed a gift from God. A gift of the power to manifest whatever, you know. You have been handed this gift to uh, manifest whatever you want. This is the power to manifest security, stability, abundance, prosperity. This is a gift from God that, that's saying, to, here we go, we're going to give this to you. What do you want? Okay, and then you take it and you go do something with it because you have that strong power right now. Okay. Um, you need to, this is saying that you be true to yourself for now. Don't follow others. Believe in yourself. Follow your beliefs. Listen to your inner counselor. Okay? I think you have been. Um, your inner voice has been offering you a blessing. They have. Maybe your inner voice has um, uh, told you something. And it's kind of like a deja vu situation. I think that's what that, this is. Your inner voice or your intuition, same kind of thing. And this is your card, has been telling you something. All right? And you know what it is. Remember, your thoughts become things. So just remember that. So whatever, you, maybe you're thinking about this soulmate. I mean, that could be it. You could be thinking, and because you're thinking about it, it's manifesting. This is the gift of manifestation. Okay. And this is, this one is about action. Okay, this is an action card. This guy is, he's, he's acting without thinking. And, and up here we have the lover's card. It's about, it's about a beautiful union that you didn't even see coming. All right, that's what that is. So, um, and your, your manifestation, you know, plants the seeds, okay? And you've been manifesting for a long time now. It's not, this isn't anything new. I mean, I think they're, they're just renewing your power, okay? Um, I just want to keep that up right there. Um, this right here is, um, this is a, something from the past, okay? Perhaps there's been a split in the past that perhaps maybe from a soulmate in the past. Somebody that you were connected to in the past, but there was a split, from and now that it's time you know you've hit rock bottom and you I'm just saying this is a love reading so it may or may not resonate with you you've hit rock bottom and you just you know this is what you want I mean this is a scenario okay this is a discontent this is a near-death situation right here all right but when you hit this spot there's no place to go but up
Okay, and this about this is about resistance. You're resisting something. You're resisting sharing something. Are you resisting sharing your time with somebody? Perhaps. Per, you know, right now, this is the first week of July. Perhaps you're focusing more on your work than this past or this past hurt. I think these are all connected, these four cards, all right. Um, I think that there's been a big loss, and you felt the loss from this person from the past. There was a split, and it was a huge, huge loss. And it's, you know, and here it is. This is a soulmate. I consider this a soulmate card. I do, and I don't, it's just the way it is. Um, this is the second week, though. So this is the, you know, this is the first through the 15th. All right. Now, this is an Aries or a father figure um, or somebody in authority. This is a Taurus. Um, this is a fire sign, Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. And this is a Gemini. And this is, you've been preparing for something. What have you been preparing for, Taurus? Have you been preparing for this meeting? You know, have you been preparing for it to come? And that's what it is. You've been manifesting it because your thoughts become things. And that's what's happening. You've been preparing for it. And it's, you're waiting. You're like, hey, come on, I'm ready. Act now. This is act now. Communication. Oh, <laughs> I knew it. I did. I have to get back to that. I do. <laughs> I think that there is a very uh, sexual, magnetic pull. Okay? I do. I see it. I feel it. Um, your power to manifest. I'm moving on from that mag sexual, magnetic pull. I know. But I'm moving on to something else because this is really prominent. And I hear this stuff so fast and that's how come I stumble with my words. Um, instant manifestation. One, one, one. Instant manifestation. If you want this soulmate, call them in. Because your power to manifest right now is very big. The, the, the universe has given you three gifts now. This is a gift of a new partner. Probably somebody from the past. Probably. Okay, I think it's a soulmate. All right. And this is, and it, it, this is you. All right. This is an Aries. This is a Virgo. And then I already gave you the other ones, the fire signs. Um, it could be any other sign, somebody that acts like these people. This person takes control. He's a leader. Um, he's a boss. He's dominant. He's very manly. Okay. Um, and this is an awakening. This is an awakening. Um, <laughs> in regards to this. In regards to this unexpected choice in love. Um, it's a wake up call. You've been preparing for somebody to come in, but it's not who you think or what you think, and that's what this is. You've been preparing for it. You've been manifesting it. You're like, I'm, you know, this he's coming, I know, or she, he, or she's coming, I know they are, or um, it doesn't have to be he or she. It could be anything. You're manifesting something, all right, um, and you've been waiting for it to come in, and it's It's coming, but it's not what you think it is. This is an unexpected choice in love that forces you to act and forces you to open your eyes. Okay? It forces you. This is the truth. This is an awakening. This is a gift, another gift from God saying, okay, we're going to help you out. We're going to open your eyes to something. And it's probably, I mean, this is, I consider this a soulmate as well. 
I do. It's a beautiful union. But with this card and this card and this card, they really point out soulmate. Really, really, really. Um, perhaps by the third week of July, you might finally have some communication. All right? You might finally have some communication with somebody. That's going to um, put a little bit of a spring in your step. And... Um, it could be even more than communication, all right? If you're already in a relationship, your uh, relationship could move up another level. This is a very vibrant, um, energetic energy, okay? And often it is a very sexual energy, okay? If, you're, if you've been split up from this soulmate for so long... And you've been like so depressed and it's been very um, disheartening and just near death with sadness, okay? This, and finally, you know, something happens. There's some kind of communication. Somebody um, lets, lets go, you know, doesn't resist, all right? And then um, this fiery energy, you know, just whoo! You know, wakes you up. That's what this is. And it wakes you up like, woo, can't even sit down kind of thing. All right. Um, but you have to be open to it, okay? You have to be open to it. You have to give your time to it. Okay? You have to give your time. Give it the time of day is what I'm trying to say. All right? Because you, it's, it's a time where um, you, with the full moon in Capricorn, all right, this week, where you, it's going to be hard to um, choose one or the other, okay? And some, there could be big misunderstandings or big missed opportunities during these two weeks especially because there's so much, the energy, the power is so strong. All right, that you could miss an opportunity, all right, because you're focusing too much on work. It could, like, for example, these two weeks you might focus, because it's from the 9th to the 14th is the full moon. But the energies are usually strongest for a full moon right before the full moon. So it's really any time during these two weeks. And this full moon is one of the most powerful full moons we've had. Okay? Um, it's a crazy full moon. Crazy, crazy, crazy. So, the, the sexual energies are going to be through the roof. People are going to be a little bit um, high strung. There's a potential for a lot of fights. Okay? Um, so, just beware. Follow your own path and do it with kindness. Just saying. Okay? And don't don't resist sharing. If you need to share something, do it. Because you don't want to react with any kind of animosity. Um, this is about stepping out of your shell. Alright? Like I said, you... If you focus too much on your work, this won't happen. It won't. You have to step out of your shell. You need to step out of the cabin and head in this direction. And I think you're going to because you're going to have a, a wake-up call, an epiphany of some sort. Let's see what we get out of these. There's a lot of power this month. Especially the first two weeks. A lot of power going on. Power struggles. So just beware. And your, your power to manifest is huge. With 111. Your thoughts become things. So obviously be careful what you think. Because it's just a humongous. The power. Alright. It is a beautiful time, though. It really is. 
I think there is going to be some communication um, with probably somebody that you are soulfully connected to and you've known from the past. I do. I think this has been coming for a while. I do. I think this has been coming for a while. This could be a church. Okay, there's a church and you might go to something and you, you that person might be, you might catch up with that person there at church. Um, this is a father figure. All right. Or an Aries person or a boss. We already talked about this. And this is a new this is a new beginning a new adventure so um, it's a it's a new path and I, I think that this you've prepared for this new path all right. There's challenges, but you've prepared for it. I think something is going to happen in these these next two weeks that is going to be big. Okay, it's going to be big, and it's gonna it's gonna change your life. It's good. This is a major wake up call. It's gonna change your life, and it has to do with with uh, getting together with somebody that you never expected. All right, that's what it does. Somebody that you never expected or somebody that doesn't fit the bill. All right, and you are going to be forced to act, okay? But you're going to know what to do because this is mental clarity, all right? I think it's finally time for a breakthrough. King of Fire, King of Wands. Focus, focus, focus. Communicate with vision and be a leader. Advice from someone creative. Release. This is the death card. Um, the end of a phase or situation. Spiritual transformation. Time to move on. You know, I, I don't know. I don't know. This is a this is a father mother figure, okay? And this is the end of a phase or situation. All right, and or, it could, or it's a somebody who is in control. It's a controlling power. Um, yeah, it's a controlling power. I really don't need to say anything else. Where you, it's the end. It's the end of it. Okay, so whether it's a relationship that you're in, and it's it's the end, and this is a big month, a big two weeks per se for endings, a big two weeks. Um, there's things that are going to be ending, and a lot of them aren't going to be ending on a happy note. So beware, things are not going to be ending on a happy note. All right, the end of a phase or situation, spiritual transformation, time to move on. Maybe it's the end of not being in control of who you of what your of your journey. Maybe it's the end of not being in in control of what you want. Okay? Maybe it's time to listen to your inner guide. Okay? And start a new adventure. Start a new adventure. Maybe that's what it is, but you can't you can't be focused too much on this. This guy is being too frivolous with his money or time. Money or time. Okay, he's 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 giving his time to something other than love. He's giving it to money, to 
building his bank account or his own security, which is, you have to do it. But it's about balance. It's about balance. And this these two weeks, you're going to really have to work on balance. That's no joke. This is these two weeks, especially, is all going to be out of balance. It's going to be a crazy two weeks. It is. Watch what comes out of your mouth. Just do it. Be very careful what you say. And I'm going to do the same thing um, because, you know, there's a big potential for um, backlash. And it's dangerous. It's a dangerous full moon. People could die I'm serious you need to look it up and people could pass away it's it's a such a strong energy okay and uh, this is the death card it's not you you know what I mean it's not you but it's a very strong energy at this time and it's a scary energy all right We can, and since you have such a, the big power to manifest, which you do, one, two, three, you have the power to have, make everything be absolutely fine. Your thoughts become things. The biggest message is, is when something bad happens in these next two weeks, you need to immediately switch it to positive change your way of thinking somehow change it into a positive situation do not react in a negative manner because it will only fuel it three of pentacles you have it twice it's also about communication and collaboration the power of creativity recognition for very high quality work be a team player Work together with people. That's what it's saying. Work together. It also tells me that when you meet this person, this unexpected love that doesn't fit the bill, um, there will be a fulfillment. That's what this is. There's a fulfillment. It's awakening. It's an awakening, an epiphany, a fulfillment that you did not expect. That's crazy. It really is beautiful. It is. Oh, your your prayers have been answered. Your prayers have been answered. You have three, three, three. Three, three, three. Your prayers have been answered. And you have the three ones. One, one, one. All right? Instant manifestation. Whatever you think will come true. That's what one, one, one is. And threes are your prayers have been answered. Advice from someone creative. I think I'm pretty creative with the words that come out of my mouth. The biggest advice that I think that you can get from this reading, and I, for some reason I really wanted to tell you this, is to these two weeks are, are it's like a dangerous full moon. It is. So beware. Beware of what you say and what you do. You may connect with somebody from the past. You might go to a funeral. Just saying. I don't know. You know? And you might co connect with this person from the past. I don't know. I don't know. It's a negative energy. I I didn't decide to pull it in. It's, you know, it's the uh, it's the moon phases and the I, where all the planets are and all that. You know, it's... It's a very negative energy. There's nothing else I can say. All right. So do is there any love during this week? 
during these two weeks? That is the question. Is there any love during these two weeks? I, I think you might connect. You might connect. And I think there will be a raw attraction. I do. I think there will be a raw attraction. Um, and it's something that you really, totally unexpected. Absolutely unexpected. But um, I don't, as far as, I mean, this being anything like true love. I mean, I do think it's a soulmate. I do, but I don't think it's like a fairy tale time. No, nope, it's not fairy tale time. I think it right now it's all about um, getting yourself to work every day and back without getting in a car accident or something like that. It's so strong energy. Fights are going to be happening like mad everywhere. There's a potential for war. So if you hear anything from this message, please um, don't argue with anybody about anything. Just get through the week and focus on that. Get through the next 15 days. Your love life is being affected by children. Interesting. Maybe that's why they haven't yet they haven't been in your life yet. Or if they are in your life, maybe it, well, that's why it hasn't reached a better level. You know, kids are, um, they do hinder things. I mean, it's a fact. They do. I mean, I love my kids with all my heart. Every ounce of it. But, <laughs> they do cause animosity between parents. They do cause fights. I mean, they do um, break up relationships. Okay? They do. Sometimes your person can't come back to you because they're waiting for their child to grow up or you can't accept somebody because you're waiting for your child to grow up because it's just not the right time. Perhaps that's where it's been. Yes, this is great advice. This is how you should be the next two weeks. And I don't care if it's male or female. Females are going to have more problems when, with females, just so you know. You know how females are with other females. Watch out. Um, so if you even you do whatever you got to do, because then you have, I mean, you're the one in control, like he is, when you are being, just keep that smile on your face. Extend your lighthearted energies to others, please, because you just don't know what's going on in their life. And these, this two weeks, is powerful for every single sign and it is going to be a dangerous week two weeks wow it's really the ninth the full moon is the ninth through the 15th but um, the energies are often I feel most strongest right before the full moon okay but right through it too you know and then some even carries on after so just take it easy. Here. You see, and this card goes down here with this awakening and this unexpected union in love. You might come across this person during these two weeks of powerful energy. Because not only, I mean, yeah, it's a lot of negative powerful energy, but it's also a lot of strong powerful energy. A lot of relationships are coming to an end. A lot of relationships are beginning anew. I mean, it's a huge, huge time right now. Huge, huge. These next two weeks. There's going to be manipulation. There's going to be fights. There could be... I mean, there's all kinds of things. I don't even want to go. I don't want to make this negative. Before I started this, I decided, you know, I wasn't going to say anything negative. But I can't uh, not tell you about it. Because it's so dangerous. Um, I do see that you are going to come into contact with somebody. And it's going to be unexpected. And it's going to be, it's not who you expect. 
okay? Or if it is who you expected, they are not what you expected, okay? And you might come into contact with them via some church function. I don't know, okay? You might. Uh, you have the power to manifest, okay? And just your prayers have been answered. The 333, your, you, your prayers have been answered, whatever they are. Okay, and if you haven't seen the answer yet, it's coming. Okay, and probably this is the answer. And if you're already coupled, then this is a higher level, like this, a higher level of commitment. That's what it. That's why this is right here. All right, your your prayers have been answered. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. And it's probably somebody from the past. And on the bottom of the deck. Isn't that funny? I just got done saying your prayers have been answered. That's amazing. I just turned the deck over. I swear to God. And I don't swear to God. I love God. And God loves me. So calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. That is the truth. I just got done telling you seconds before I looked at the bottom wow so another pretty strong message for you Taurus um, I wish you the very best um, good luck for the next two weeks um, there's a there is potential for your love life to um, either extend to another level or shock you you know, with something that you didn't even see coming or somebody that you didn't even know that you thought you did. You know, it's something unexpected in love that is going to suck you right in big time. Um, so God bless. And um, that's it.